Good morning! Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are in Pittsburgh, the other side of Pittsburgh, we're almost in Ohio. We have a very noisy construction crew right across the street. It's kind of annoying to not be the loudest on the block. That's typically us. So I imagine we'll start up a couple saws here shortly and just run them. Just, you know, keep up with the competition. Two and a half hour drive this morning. I left my house at quarter till five and it is 8.22. We're here. It's a Niagara bubbling rock. Here's the sign. It's gonna be a pretty simple build. We're gonna have four guys here today and we're gonna try to get it all done today, which I think is attainable. Let's go right in here. So this is just gonna be an entrance to the new bank. It got bought out or something, new owners, and it's getting all the landscapes getting redone and just getting a facelift. And we're not doing anything except the uh, water feature. So stay tuned, it's going to be a quick one today. got that big one centered in the middle of the sign. This guy's got a lot of character. I probably we're gonna put it up against something like this. We can get a nice waterfall in here. And then I have a low sloped one over there. That I think, just because of the angle, we always like to set our rocks level, but I kind of like that, the pitch on there. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna set it. It's a really cool rock either way. It's really weathered. But what do you think, Dean? Should we level it or should we somehow use that natural slope to form a waterfall? I'd be okay here? with the slope. Yeah. I kind of like that, how that looks. But it's gonna go over on this side. So I'll set that one over there and then we'll move this guy in. Not real sure, but I'd like to form a waterfall over here off of this side. Let's see, I, you never know. You start swinging them in and see what happens. What do you think of your cute machine? That is a really cute machine, but I'm gonna tell you I'm impressed. I didn't think it would pick that up. Did you? I wasn't expecting it though. <laughs> That's pretty little. 26 G deer. We have all the plumbing run, boulder set, D just foaming up the middle. Just a little bit of gravel in here yet and we're out of here. We lost about two hours of our time. It turns out that the Bure has a right of way 50 feet from the center of the road, which is within this area. So final consensus was we're allowed to fill this in with gravel so it's not, you know, like a tripping hazard and stuff. We're not allowed to have it running when we leave, so we'll probably have to come back to get some shots with it running so you guys can see it. It's a wrap, at least as close as we can get. We're not allowed to put down any plants or mulch and we're not allowed to plug it in, but this is where we are today. It's gonna look really cool, I know that. 
but it might be the first project that I ever build that I don't see run. Guys, I'll just have to watch the video with you guys when it comes out. Hey, if you want to see more of these, if you have questions on how we build them uh, on the install process, subscribe to the channel and you'll get to see some more. If you're interested in getting one in your backyard, check out our website and build your own project on there and see what you can make work for your budget and we'd be happy to come work in your backyard. See you in the next one.